To be honest, I didn't solve much of QBank. To be honest, I used to uh, solve mainly the PYQs. PYQs, I gave a lot of attention. Rank of sixty three there. Okay. And uh, I got one sixty. I think one sixty something correct. Wow. I think. So, what is your last fifteen days strategy will look like? Uh, NEET PG and INS set are two very different exams. First is to give revision at least twice. Second is to give a grand test. Yeah. And then just go and give a in a relaxed mind give the exam. You are not getting into the fight early. It becomes a bit uh, lazy for them. My internship played a very important role for my preparation. Learn the things during internship. It is the only time you can learn sufficiently well. MBBS as a whole is a subject where you obviously learn from the bedside. Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back to my channel. I am Dr. Nishan, and today with me is Dr. Rahul. He is my junior, and he has secured an amazing double-digit All India rank of just 94 in the recently conducted INICT examination. That is the INICT May 2024. So, hello Rahul, welcome to my channel. And first of all, many many congratulations on achieving this amazing feat. Uh, tell us uh, what was your reaction when you first discovered about this, and also tell the viewers a uh, little bit about yourself. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, brother. Uh, it is. I am gl really glad that today I got an opportunity mila hai to talk to you and uh, interact with you. So first of all, uh, the first reaction I got uh, when I got to know my result. Uh, actually, I got a call from Mero. So they wanted to know my roll number. I thought, okay, maybe the re result was released. So I gave them the uh, roll number, and they uh, they told me congratulations, Rahul. Uh, you have got a rank of ninety four. I couldn't believe. I asked them twice. Uh, really? Is it true? I said yes. You have got ninety four. Then I downloaded the result myself, and when I saw it with my own eyes, then I was confirmed. Okay, they are not uh, making fun and stuff. <laughs> so I was escalated. I was very happy. I didn't expect. Maybe I okay. I had a good exam, but I didn't expect that I would get a double digit rank. So I was very elated. That's great. That's great. And uh, it's like obviously, yeah, it's a uh, really a great feeling to know about done uh, such a great hard work. So it is really great to know about it. And uh, tell us something about yourself. Uh, okay. Uh, actually, uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Dr. Rahul Mujumdar. Uh, I did my undergraduation from Johar Medical College, and currently I'm working as a one-year medical officer at Bharwe Pachali PHC under Tengahat uh, Subdivision in uh, Dibrugarh District. Uh, recently, uh, uh, I had been my rural posting came to an end, and currently I'm preparing for NEET PG. Two thousand twenty-four. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Raul, uh, right straight away, I wanted to ask you about your timeline. So, what was your timeline about? When did you start your preparation? What was the primary source, and uh, how it went all about? Uh, uh, actually, uh, my uh, preparation dates back to my third year, when uh, after coming from uh, AIMS Pulse, which was a Uh, college uh, week kind of program. I got to know there is this thing called uh, Mero, which most of the people in AIMS were using. So I was interested in that and started preparation in third year. And to my luck, I had COVID. So during those times, uh, we have very less classes. So I could concentrate more on the third year and for final year per perspective of the Mero. Uh, so during my third year only, I completed third year and fourth year. In final year, I couldn't study much because of the hard uh, work uh, related to the clinics and all, and also uh, I had to prepare for my own MB exams. Apart from that, in uh, internship, I couldn't even study a little bit because uh, internship is very tough in our JMC, and we get very less time for ourselves only. So my actual preparation began in uh, during my rural posting only, okay. uh, when uh, I took dams. Uh, In the month of uh, May, uh, when my internship were were over and my rural was started, I used to study daily. I always maintain the consistency. Maybe if not less, if not more, but I used to study continuously daily, and uh, for six to seven hours daily. And uh, I try to maintain it as much as possible. Did as many revisions as, as possible, and yes, uh, got somewhat a decent rank in this INA. Great. Uh, so, what was your primary source? Like uh, marrow, you did 
exactly or uh, dams or any other course also you took actually uh, i am not considering my third year preparation because uh, in th- after third year i couldn't revise anything from my last uh, what i read in third year so i to be honest my uh, real preparation began in rural posting where i used dams okay. as a primary source i tried to complete dams uh, ultimate life course within 3 to 4 months as uh, fast as i could and uh, i also used one other source uh, for prep letter uh, sorry for uh, ph- pharmacology which is uh, cerebellum by dr uh, govind rai gurg sir okay and uh, apart from this i used uh, uh, your uh, marrow for plan uh, pl- marrow plan b for uh, gts and uh, q bank okay. so only three sources i used for okay. preparation okay so as you said about the question bank uh, mm-hmm. so uh, you must have been solving mcqs right from the start i think so can you just tell how you use the question bank and uh, like where you solving it from the first read itself and uh, can you also mention uh, a little bit importance of solving mcqs right from the start okay da uh, yeah to be honest i didn't solve much of uh, q bank to be okay. honest i used to solve mainly during the that marathon month or all okay. and some i used to uh, solve mainly the pyqs pyqs i gave a lot of attention uh, i used to solve almost daily or if not daily then uh, alternate days and stuff and apart from the pyqs i gave a lot of attention to uh, your uh, what do you call it uh, gts okay. gt every uh, initially i couldn't give every week initially i gave once in a month then slowly it became twice a month then uh, every time a new gt came up i gave a gt so okay. gt i gave a lot of mane i gave attention but q bank i couldn't give much attention but pyqs okay. i gave a lot of attention okay so uh, as you said uh, about the gts so can you just elaborate how was your approach towards gts and uh, like if your scores were uh, improving or not and what did you do exactly to improve your scores and also can you just say the last gt score which you get got it before the inicit my gts initially were very terrible <laughs> i got for some 450 out of 800 like 450 marks or 460 something like that okay. uh, after that i got uh, like sad, uh, with uh, each gt things went up slowly it was a exponential not exponential curve but it was a up sloping okay. curve uh with every gt i got better 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 and uh, just before ini ct i got a uh, marrow uh, i gave the ini ct mock uh, uh, test uh, in marrow i got a rank of 63 there okay and uh, i got 160 i think 160 something correct wow. i think questions approx so uh, where, how are you reviewing the gt so like uh, you used to give the gt and review the same day or like uh did you made a copy or something about the mistakes you were doing or how did you approach the gps like after giving the grand test i used to just check uh, the questions once and if i found a new thing there i used to add it to my notes okay. only no, not many very different okay. thing I just add it to my notes anything okay. you stick to the basics basically yes yeah i stuck uh, i tried to stick to the basics okay okay so uh, what about the revision rahul how did you uh, compile your revision like when did you start your revision and uh, did you use any revision source or revision uh, course which are available now is uh, online so any of that did you use uh, to be honest da i started uh, my revision only after my first reading only uh, i tried to complete my first reading in 3 to 4 months after that i tried to complete my revision within 2 months the next one in one and a half months subsequently i tried to reduce my time and a time came when i used to revise one or two subjects in a single day or uh, sometimes three or four subjects so i tried to compl- i mainly focus on the speed of the revision then the contents uh, after that uh, i didn't uh, use any special source for revision although i attended dvt class but i never used enough money i used to revise main notes only and were you using custom modules anything to revise or you were just focusing on mainly on the grand tests grand tests only so rahul uh, with such a good rank uh, i think you have any options now to choose so uh, what is the dream branch you would like to pursue uh, i am not very sure right now 
आई वुड गो टूअर्ड्स मेडिकल लाइन कम्पेटिव टू ए सर्जिकल दैट्स आई एम श्योर ओके बट नॉट सी अबाउट द ब्रांच दैट्स दैट्स रियली कूल एंड सो सिंस एम्स इज डन एंड विथ नीट पी जी कमिंग इन जस्ट आई थिंक फिफ्टीन डेज सो मैन वॉट हैज हैपेंड इज सो मेनी एक्सपीरियंट्स आफ्टर गिविंग द एम्स दे आर लाइक हार्ट ब्रोकन नॉट परफॉर्म वेल और लाइक दे आर वेरी कन्फ्यूज नॉट मच कॉन्फिडेंट अबाउट the need pg performance so like you have secured a such an amazing rank so what is your advice for those aspirants like uh, how can they bounce back one thing and second thing since you are also attempting the need pg so what is your last 15 days strategy will look like okay first thing i would say uh, need pg and ins it are two very different exams according to me i don't know about others but for me very different exams INS it needs a more more of understanding and conceptual knowledge comparatively to NEET. Uh, that's mainly of hard working and uh, mainly of rote learning. I would say, and it's not actually rote learning, but you need to lo- uh, know a lot of different information about different things. Whereas you know, uh, in uh, INS it, we need to know a lot of things about a single few subjects or topics. so i would advise them not to get hard broken better to uh, better to concentrate on what's up coming up next which is nit pg uh, and uh, i would i'm also a soldier like everyone there i may get good marks or may not good good marks so that's uh, up to lord to say but uh, my uh, preparation right now i believe it would be to revise at least twice before going to the exam and uh, Uh, I uh, I had one more goal that is to give the mock uh, G uh, grant test for uh, NEET PG. Uh, so that already I given. Now I on I'm only thinking about uh, revising as much as possible. So you are just revising mainly on your notes, or is your are you using any pearls or any other uh, source also? No, only notes. Only notes. Only notes. So your as, so your main focus is to give revision at least twice. Second is to give a grant test. Yeah. and then just go and give a in a relaxed mind give the exam give the exam and jo hoga bhagwan bharose that that's really <laughs> nice <laughs> so yes uh, that is so important because uh, many students are so much uh, tense and anxious but i think two exams are totally different and you have to like uh, because this is first time i think which uh, neat has is occurring after the you know uh, aims generally what happens in neat happens yeah. before so this time the it has turned around mm. so things are like getting so much nervous for the students so i hope the nervous for yeah, the students so i hope the students take your advice and like uh, believe in themselves that they can bounce back definitely and uh, lastly uh, rahul just a message for the future aspirants the future doctors who are about to come like they are in third year or final year and uh, who are uh, not like uh, now who will be giving this competitive exam so what should the mindset be like and your message to them for a uh, you know uh, how to approach such exams i have a very different view regarding this the uh, to be honest the i have i have very good connection with my juniors so many of the juniors have a very good friends to be honest so when i see them most of them have taken up some for uh, some coaching during the first and second year only and they have been continuing ever since so uh, f- for us we are mainly focused in our uh, rural but they have been focusing from the beginning so for the ug students it is a very tough fight for them because most of the people are getting knowledge about these things from the very beginning and they have been developing concepts from the very beginning so if you are not getting into the fight early it becomes a bit uh, lazy for them True. at the end it becomes very bit uh, difficult for them in the end so my advice to them is to take to st- study a bit seriously from the very beginning only no doubt you should enjoy no doubt you should learn as much as possible from the internship but along with that you have to start start early that's so that's so important because uh, the these exams ultimately are known to be competitive so you have to start early because everyone is now Uh, getting that competitive edge, and the earlier you start, the better practice and revision uh, comes into your picture. That's so good. Uh, yeah. Along with that, I want to say one more thing. For me, I I don't know for others, my internship played a very important role for my preparation. 
because few questions yeah i don't know if you know the one question came uh, what drugs you should avoid avoid in pph so whenever we deliver patient whenever we think of metaji you we always used to check the bp because it is not given a high pressure so that same situation came in the exam only this ins at uh, me so i would advise my friends if you cannot study well in your internship okay fine but learn the things during internship it is the only time you can learn sufficiently well and you have no other problems so i would advise them to take internship seriously that at least help for me yeah no no, no no that's so true because uh, ultimately medicine or uh, the mbbs as a whole is a subject where you obviously learn from the bedside and internship the way you are exposed that is can't be matched with any other uh, book learning so definitely uh, opening your eyes yeah. and ears and just open to all the concepts around and applying ultimately that is what the exam is all about so such a good message you have uh, given raul i think uh, most of the juniors who are in their third year final year will be using this as uh, advice and will be trying to get the most out of it it was uh, really nice talking to you raul uh, many many congratulations once again and thank you for coming to our podcast and uh, i wish you uh, all the best for the future and uh, Uh, I wish you all the best for the neat PG as well. Thank you so much, Da, and thank you for giving me such a wonderful opportunity to, to speak my heart out. Thank you, thank you so. Thank much. you so much. Cheers.